Yes, and now in the final dream for these 27th Olympiad, can you please welcome Ian Thorpe? Ian, it must seem an age ago that you're actually in the pool, given the yeah. events that have happened since. It's, it's about a week, but it <laughs> seems like a lifetime. Um, you know, I've seen so much and seen so many different performances. It's great to actually be able to, you know, to kick back and be able to enjoy the rest of the games, not having to worry about competing because that's all over. The Australian swimming team swim so well. And, uh, you know, now we're able to enjoy the rest of the games and seeing the other athletes go through the hard work. And highlights. Highlights of things that you've seen or things that you happened in the pool, apart from, obviously, your own... You know, brilliant. <laughs> um, uh, you know, outside of the pool, um, you know, things I've been able to enjoy. I thought, obviously, Kathy's race was amazing. Um, you know, I, at some times I saw myself and Kathy in that race. Yeah. Uh, you know, just yeah, the lead up and then the after, the aftermath of you know what Kathy achieved. Knowing, you know, seeing her there, everyone thought that she was relieved. I knew that she was numb. You know, knowing, just trying to comprehend what she'd just achieved. That's you know something very difficult to do. And, uh, you know, being able to sit there watching that and being able to share in that with Kathy was just, that's an amazing thing. And an amazing thing because all Australians got to see that. Everyone got to witness that. Yeah. Um, apart from that, you know, the, the volleyball girls, you know, the water polo girls, yeah. you know, everyone, everyone's, uh, you know, performed just so well. Um, it's just been an amazing Olympic Games. And, you know, not just that, you know, the highlight for me is I went to... I've gone to a couple of, of, of parties, you know, one of them was a Sports Illustrated party and I stood out there and met, you know, the boss of, of Coca-Cola, the boss of, you know, of um, you know, General Motors. I, I met, you know, some people that are the big wigs in the United States and every one of them said, you know, you've got a great place here, you know, you've done this really well and we're actually looking at moving here. <laughs> this is ours, this is ours. Understandably. But, you know, and Sydney has just done it so well. You know, yes. Everyone that's been involved yes. with this has just you know, made the Olympics something special and something special for the rest of the world and something special for the Australian athletes and the Australian public. Yes. Absolutely we, right. We, we saw you that night. Uh, in fact, you joined us here on I, the well, show by the uh, satellite the and you were with uh, Misty and Carl and that's what right. have you. It was a, uh, obviously a great night. Now. Have you seen many of the uh, American athletes or swimmers at all socially around the village at all, or have they tended to keep to themselves? Yeah, we have like the Yankee section and the Australian section. Yeah. There's a big gate between the yes. two of us. Right. And it's rather wire. Da Yeah, and yeah. security yeah. either yeah. side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Right. So but, there's, not, there's not much <laughs> interaction. Well, I, I'm, I'm lying. There actually is. You know, yeah. now, especially the swimmers. Now that everything's over, I think mm. everyone that's finished their races is now able to enjoy it and able to yeah. get along really well. Um, I met, met the guys just a second ago, and you know, it was great yeah. to see them. It was a yeah. great race. I was able to watch that tonight. Yeah. And you know, so everyone's getting along pretty well. So is it party, party, party at the moment over at the village? Yeah. It <laughs> is. <laughs> for those it that is. are finished and those that aren't finished are a bit, you know, a bit annoyed about it. Uh, well, it must be hard for them, mustn't it? It is hard because, you know, everyone's enjoying themselves. You yeah. Know, you know, and, enjoying competition. You know, we've got one more day of this. I think uh, everyone's going to be making the most of it because this yeah. isn't going to happen again. And is Richo reading out the riot act to people over there? Or is he getting them settled down? You haven't seen him, have you? Yeah. <laughs> He's done nothing. This, the this word, the word settled down. Um, no, on that's the not happening. speaker at night, you know. <laughs> Room 22, could you turn out the lights and settle down, please? <laughs> Bulgaria, stop doing what you're doing right now. And then in the morning, he asked Bulgaria to start, come into the office, and he'll always say, you know, there's one lot that spoil it for everyone else, isn't it? And you're it. Um, no, he, he, needs to, he needs to be far more visible. That's my mail. Yes. My mail. That's what um, I've heard. Now, in the future games, do you think that uh, you would choose, say, the, uh, the option that John and, uh, you know, Maurice and so on did, and they've obviously set up camp away from the village, or, or do you think you would still, if you could, uh, seek, you know, a bit hard to know exactly what they do in America now, but, you know, sort of go into the village because it would be like-minded souls around you? No. Uh, I mean, I, I love the experience of the Olympic Village. Mm. If every village is like the village that we've had here in Sydney, um, there's no reason to stay out, and uh, in terms of security and, and a few other issues with traffic, uh, I think it's best to be in the village, and that's where you know, it's been designed to be catered for for the athletes, and especially at this games, it's been it's been done better than ever before, and uh, you know there's no reason to stay out, and it's just a, an amazing and awesome feeling within the within the village, within the athletes, you know all the different athletes being able to share. Uh, in everything that they do, um, you know the the six thousand people that can sit uh, at one time in the food hall. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it's it's just amazing that 
in every every athlete in their chosen sport and their chosen event is probably sitting in that food hall yeah. and it's that big you have absolutely no idea where they are. Yeah. No. And, you know, it's just so have you made new phenomenal. friends? Have you made new friends? Made a lot of new friends. Yeah. Of different nationalities? Of different Because that's important. That's what you've got to do with the Olympics. I mean, it's, it's celebrating humanity. It's peace. It's <laughs> world it's, getting together. It's, it's uh, the fat-ass wombat. The fat-ass wombat. <laughs> this is the symbol of the Olympic Games. That's, that's right. right. That's right. That's, that's right. right. And uh, I'm just wondering if you had a chance, I don't know whether you saw it, uh, Fatso went in a bomb competition for gold and uh, beat the other mascots who bothered to show up, the jumping kangaroo, <laughs> Sid. Ollie and Dickhead. <laughs> I'm, just wondering, I'm just wondering if he had a chance to assess his form in that. Uh, I actually didn't say it, which I'm off. unfortunate, but I'm sure he had an amazing performance. Yes, he oh, did. No, it was oh, yes, no, the big yeah, came into a tone. Only <laughs> the AOC marked it down, or it might have been the IOC marked it down. No, that's right. Did I read that you're off to America to have a look at the Guggenheim Museum and this sort of stuff? Galleries and what no, have no, you? No, I'm not going to look at art. Um, I'm going Why to... aren't you going to have a look at some art? No, <laughs> um, I've got other things that I've got planned, but uh, yeah. I'm going to New York for three days. Yeah. Uh, See some old mates or new mates, as it turns yeah, out. Yeah, I've, I've got an appearance there I'm doing with Giorgio and Marty there. Ah, okay. So, yeah, big gig in town that night. What, um, what, what? Yeah, down the, the Hudson River, well, seeing Hudson how many River. syringes we can get. Shelley Taylor Smith style. Yeah, that's it. Are you going to be modelling gear? No, no. Well, what are you going to do? I'm there? a swimmer, mate. That's yeah, well, no, well, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you going to be doing with Georgie Alarma? Uh, just, just doing an appearance there. Uh, just, it's opening of a, a section of the Guggenheim Museum dedicated to... You know, to like the time you went to the Bloodhouse Hotel when they well, introduced... Right, up the back bar. That's right, up the back bar. In the new playing strip with the footy boots on. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to open up the back bar. Is that how? You're going to be Something like that, you know. Like to open up the, isn't that fantastic? Do you get millions well, of requests? Just, I get this sort of stuff. A lot of requests. Mm, um, yeah. you know, some, most of them I can't do. No. Uh, I'm actually very lucky because I am taking this break. I'm, I'm, yeah. That's the first three days, and I'll yeah. actually be. You call that work? I'll be working that part, and then the rest yeah. of it I'm actually holidaying. I'm fantastic. spending eight days in South Africa. Then back, oh, I'm going to London for three days and then to the States for 10 yeah. to 12 days with some of my mates. Right. Are you got to manage? You'd, you'd have to have a manager by now. I do have a couple a manager. of managers. Yeah, a yeah. few. I've got a team. Yeah. A, team. a team? A team. team. team like, a, like a football team. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Because, because people can't believe how composed you are after a sensational performance. You'll get out and you'll talk as if you've learned things. I mean, have you had, <laughs> training? Have you had training in how to respond to the media? No. Um, as soon as you have training, you, I guess you lose yourself. Yeah. You, oh, okay. You're not able to, you know, you, you're not allowed to say things, you know, that you'd want to say. And, uh, yeah, okay. You know, haven't been trained to do anything, and you know, I think it's disappointing because everyone just fits in into a mould yeah, as yeah. to what everyone wants to see, and you know, yeah. you have to be an individual in this. Okay. Oh, that's fantastic. It is good. It is good. I was trying to think of, uh, you know, maybe Roy, you could, um, you know, take Ian in, in mm. hand, mm. maybe suggest a. You know, a few things about based on your experiences at the Bloodhouse Hotel. Well, how to open it. <laughs> yeah. well, just in case Ian was yeah. ever in that position. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a bloody good gallery. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> some terrific pictures, and I hope you all enjoy them. That's right. That's right. Thanks that's for right. asking me to come. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I know how to clear the gallery open. Yeah. You forgot that bit. Yeah. You didn't remember that. Oh, no, no, no. Ian, look, here's a special a souvenir of your time with us this evening. The most wanted pin. I it understand is. the Daily it Telegraph is. had had it over at $15,000 in the paper today, this oh. pin. Is that all? That all. That's right. Almost, that's as, that's much as, almost as much as fat that's so right. on Olympic Games. Well, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> that's right. That's uh, right. Look, it's a souvenir of your time here, and, uh, you know, thanks very much for coming in, and no, thanks thank very you. much for supporting the show through its whole run, these Olympics, and all the best in the future, especially Certainly. that Armani opening, or whatever oh. it is. Uh, yeah, the Google Yeah, that one. Thank you. 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 Thank you.